Hello and welcome back! Yes, it is 11.11 sale time on AliExpress and out of few big and numerous small sales throughout the year, this 11.11 is considered the most aggressive one, with most discounts across the products, so it should be exciting. If you watched my previous AliExpress sales videos, you probably already know the drill. All the watches in the list will have links in the description, which are affiliate links and without costing you anything extra, I might get a commission on qualifying purchases, which in essence does help me to keep this channel running. So. Thank you very much in advance. In addition to the product links, there will be links to my reviews of the watches where I already had a chance to get some hands-on experience, so by all means check those reviews out as well. As always, I try to keep the overlap with my previous recommendations to a minimum, however, there are some, mostly because the prices are lower this time or overall package is better, or all of the above. The way I organized my last recommendation list, I believe, worked pretty well. So I'll keep the same approach here too, that is, group all the watches by brands. If you think I could use another grouping strategy, do let me know in the comments and I will of course consider it. And just heads up for all the San Martin fan club members, it is definitely on the list, represented by somewhat more watches than usual, and of course it is right at the end, for dessert so to speak. Also, there is a brand Spectanzona, which I included in the list for the first time. Quite an interesting brand, so do make sure to check it out. So without any further ado, let's jump into the list. Cadison. Well, I decided to start with Cadison because they were one of the first brands this year to push the prices well below $100 mark, while still expanding their catalog and maintaining a very decent build quality. So first on my list is this Cadison, a 62 Mars Seiko homage, a 37mm version, priced at under 70 bucks, an absolute steal for what we get here. All premium materials, of course, sapphire crystal, stainless steel construction, reliable Japanese Seiko NH35 movement, good functionality, decent bezel action and a solid clasp with on-the-fly extension, great iconic looks of Seiko Vintage 62 Mars, of course, and in short, a very impressive timepiece for the price. Check my review for more details. Cadison Rolex yet master homage. This is another value-packed Cadison watch, well-executed bracelet and a clasp with on-the-fly adjustment. Very handy. Very well-executed dial, of course. Again, top materials, sapphire crystal, 316L stainless steel, second H35 movement, of course, iconic looks and all that for the sale price of about 67 US dollars. Again, a bargain that does not compromise in build quality. There were other Cadison watches that I reviewed recently and and I already mentioned them in my previous recommendations, and I will leave links to all the Cadison reviews in the description of this video. Moving on, well, the next brand that has been keeping me busy this year is Boltony. So first, their new chronograph, which is absolutely brilliant. I almost finished the review of this watch and I will post it on the channel in the coming days, so a great reason to subscribe if you don't want to miss it. So what do we get here? Stainless steel construction, of course, sapphire crystal, genuine leather strap, Japanese Seiko Mecha Quartz movement, VK64 is powering this watch, an integrated design that gives us best of both worlds, accuracy of the quartz and mechanical flyback chronograph of the mechanical part. And not to forget, three years of battery life. And what I specifically like about this watch is great iconic looks, often an A-type flieger with quite an original design at the same time. A very solid build quality of a macro brand that takes a lot of pride in their products. And it is priced at $142. Now, this is second botany on this list, but it was my first and it really impressed me with well-designed dial layout and the sapphire crystal quality way above its price point. This chronograph is very similar to one we just looked at. The key difference is the dial layout and the version of the second Mecha Quartz movement that sits behind that dial. So this watch uses VK67 version and a full review is available and will be linked in the description. Priced for 11.11 sale at $144, this field watch is obviously inspired by Hamilton Hockey. In terms of build quality, it is very solid proposition. Screw down crown, robust, well-finished stainless steel case and of course a very good sapphire crystal. This field watch is powered by dependable automatic Seiko NH35 movement and the dial is done really well. I had the blue version for the review and it is as good as it looks on the product pictures. Check out my review for more details. 
And just in case if you thought that Baltany is all about field and pilot watches, well, I'm happy to report that they are not. This brilliant vintage Rolex homage, or is it a Tudor homage, well, you decide, is a great testament to Baltany's ability to deliver a well-built vintage divers. We get here Baltany's superb boxed sapphire crystal, solid build quality, including very well-executed bracelet and the clasp, very decent loom and great iconic vintage diver looks. I also did a full review of this really cool diver, so a link will be in the description. Looks like it is also discounted for 11.11 sale, so do check it out. Ok, now moving on to another brand which did surprise me this year. Eddie's Dive. After my brief a bit of a lukewarm encounter with Eddie's Dive a few years ago, this watch really blew me away for what we get here for the price. First, yes, as a pretty much most time pieces on this list, we get all the premium materials 316L stainless steel, sapphire crystal and ceramic bezel insert. Really sound build quality, good finishing of the case and the bracelet and of course Seiko NH35 movement. Now, if we add to this a good loom, including on the ceramic bezel with a very decent bezel action and as a cherry on a cake a unique vintage design that looks great. And all of this for only $65 during this special event. Check my full review for details. Moving on to Steel Dive, so I picked up this Marine Master Hamash during the last AliExpress sale. At introduction it was priced at around $200, then the price was reduced to around $160-ish and now it looks like they set it $255 for this 11.11 sale. As we would expect, we get Sapphire Crystal on a monoblock stainless steel construction case, ceramic bezel, brilliant loom, actually one of the best looms I reviewed so far, including on the bezel, good bracelet, solid build quality. However, where this watch took me by surprise is how well this chunky timepiece wears on the wrist. I now use it as a weekend watch. Well, check my review for more details. Now, this quite popular GMT already featured in my previous list, however, I can now find this watch on a stainless steel bracelet and with more expensive red indices bezel variation for as little as $116. Link will be in the description. We do get a more limited choice of colorways and bracelets, no rubber strap or jubilee style options, but still it is priced almost 70 bucks less than I paid a few months ago. Pretty much enough money to buy another decent watch on AliExpress. So yes, we get all the good stuff, sapphire crystal, stainless steel and ceramic bezel insert. Of course, Seiko GMT NH34 movement, one of the key features of this watch and a very solid build with a screw down crown and 200 meters of water resistance. I did a full review and a comparison to its inspiration, Seiko's own 5KX GMT. Links to both videos will be of course in the description of this one. And while we're on the subject of Steel Dive, just a friendly reminder to get one of their best and probably most popular pieces, the Captain Willard Hamash, that is if you haven't bought it yet. Great watch for the money and possibly the best bank for the buck on AliExpress, period. And just before we move to another brand, here is one more watch on the Steel Dive recommendation list. So, a couple of months ago we had a launch of a new swatch and blank pen collaboration with much hoopla, as it usually happens. Now, what does it have to do with AliExpress 11.11 sale, you might ask? Well, still I've actually released this very interesting model inspired by blank pen 50 Fathoms Diver. And it looks quite impressive. Sapphire crystal, stainless steel construction plus loomed ceramic bezel. We have Seiko NH35 movement powering this watch and we also get declared impressive 300 meters of water resistance on this diver. And priced at $167 it is considerably cheaper than $400 swatch collaboration watch and it is also considerably more practical. And I will see if I can get this one for review. Moving on to another brand, we have Mercury here. I reviewed a lot of watches from Mercury in the past and the quality and the designs were always solid. This time we have one of their military dirty dozen inspired small secondhand timepieces. Somewhat unusual, but if you are a vintage military watch enthusiast, this is a brilliant example. The key feature of this watch is that really impressive salmon dial. The variations of finishing and skeletonized minute and our hands makes this dial a really pop. In line with vintage aesthetics, we have a hand winding mechanical movement here and a lovely boxed crystal. 
The crystal is made out of K1 mineral glass type, which has a higher scratch resistance and shutter resistance compared to ordinary glass. And this watch is very well proportioned at just over 38 mm in diameter. I'm currently working on the review of this beautiful timepiece and will release it in the coming days. Merkur is slashing their prices for 11.11 sale, so do check it out. Links, of course, will be in the description. Spect and Sony IWC Engineer Homage. Now, this is kind of a new brand that I came across recently. We have a bunch of really well executed homages here, and one that really intrigued me is this one, inspired by what looks like a recent release of IWC Engineer. It is not exactly a clamage, which is good, and yet it has all the hallmarks of that very popular IWC watch. I bought this one recently, and it actually got delivered as I was recording this video. It is priced around $85, which is very competitive compared to other brands that homage the same IWC design. We are talking like three times cheaper price tags. In terms of specs, it looks really good too. Sapphire crystal, stainless steel construction, we've got 40 mm diameter and 45 mm lock to lock span. This watch should be very comfortable on wrists too. We get Japanese Miyota 8215 movement here. It is a good reputable movement. There are better options out there, but for the price it didn't stop me. So the product listing link will be in the description of this video and of course watch this space for the upcoming review of this watch. Now, this is another watch that really impressed me this year. Constructed out of titanium with good clear sapphire crystal, this is a very robust watch with a very interesting design. Now, Bodery upgraded the movement to Seiko NH35, basically creating a perfect field watch. And yes, the price is under 100 bucks, and now it is also available in bronze. A really cool watch, check it out, and of course, check out my full review of this watch as well. Ok, this is quite a specific style watch, and I can see that this style, which was only reserved for rich and famous in the past, is slowly but surely gaining popularity among watch enthusiasts. So I decided to include this really well-crafted timepiece, which represents fusion of sapphire, crystal and titanium in this list. This watch is built really well. The custom body movement is skillfully skeletonized and even modified to about 70 hours of power reserve. Bracelet is also well done, including quite interesting custom-designed spring-loaded butterfly clasp, which works surprisingly well. Looks like Bordery is taking some serious steps in discounting this watch for 11.11 sale, from $300 all the way down to $69. If it still seems like a lot, well, it is still about 1000 times cheaper than the Richard Mill that it was inspired by. I did a full review of this remarkable watch, highly recommend to check it out. And while we're on the subject of Richard Mille inspired watches that cost 1000 times less, here is another example, this time from 2020, German Design Award winner from Sigur Design Z series watch. This also very well built watch comes in a few material options, stainless steel and titanium. Sega Design also has a very well skeletonized movement. In this case, they opted for a Seagull ST2553JK AAA premium movement. The watch does look really well on the wrist. I did a full review of this timepiece. Do check it out if you are keen on this watch. The link, of course, will be in the description. And of course, it is hard to miss Pagani Design on AliExpress 1111 recommendation list. I did recommend this one before, but now after I had a hands-on experience with this Seiko NH34 powered timepiece and did a full review, I thought it well deserves a spot on this list, especially taking into account that Pagani design still sticking to the same price tag of $73. So do check my full review of this brilliant homage for all the juicy details, if you are considering this one. Now, before we move on to some more serious AliExpress heaters, including of course San Martin watches, here is something that could be a fun introduction for your kids to the world of horology. Well, if mom and dad have a Rolex homage, or maybe the real Rolex, then why shouldn't I have one too? Also, this could be a fun watch if one of your co-workers, let's say, spent $300 or $400 on one of the Swatch collaborations, so you can present this as Swatch and a Rolex collaboration that he probably missed. I think sometimes we take the watch collecting game a bit too seriously. 
Right, swiftly moving on to a seriously low-priced Quanjin diver. Looks like if you want to tip your toes into a Rolex Submariner Homages game, this is a very good potential starting point. So what do we get for 43 bucks here? Well, we get sapphire crystal, we get ceramic insert bezel, full stainless steel construction, tested and reliable Japanese Seiko and Nish 35 movement an absolutely full package for the price. My guess is, if Quan Jin did cut some corners here, those would be around loom performance and possibly bezel action. Those are areas that get impacted first on such a budget-friendly watches. But then again, for $43, it would be kinda expected. Now, this is another blank pen 50 Fathoms homage on this list. Well, there is only so many Submariner homages one collection can take. This time it is a homage to a more contemporary blank pen release, 50 Fathoms Better Scarf. And it is from Kronos. Kronos, allegedly having a very strong ties with San Martin, is well known for its build quality and attention to detail. So, if I was to get a 50 Fathoms homage, this could be a very compelling option, especially at the price of $120 during 11.11 sale. We have a bunch of different colorways on offer, all the premium materials, looks like strong loom, including on the bezel. I'll be getting in touch with Kronos to get one of those for review, and of course, there will be a link in the description if you are keen to check one of this out. Now, one watch that is definitely overdue in my studio for review and possibly in my collection is the military chronograph Siegel 1963 interpretation. I say interpretation because a lot of them are available under Seagull license from different manufacturers, with original Seagull mechanical chronograph movement, of course, and they are competitively priced. If we are looking at the Seagull original version of this watch, then we will be looking at about five or six hundred bucks, which is a bit less compelling, should I say. Now, back to this licensed version, the reason it caught my attention this time is because the prices are getting really sharp. Like this one, which also includes Swan Neck Regulator, will be available for $130 during 11.11 sale, or $139 if you are after Sapphire version, which I actually recommend. Also, unless you have a wrist larger than, let's say, 7.5 or 7 and 3 quarters of an inch, I would recommend to go with 38mm version. It wears larger than a 38mm dimension suggests. Ok, and we're finally got to my San Martin list. Well, the first one on this list is this budget Black Bay 58 homage, which I reviewed and compared to a most expensive version of this watch a few days ago. Well, I can say that the most budget thing about this watch is the price. Build quality is solid, the loom is actually brighter than on an expensive version, and no compromises in materials and finishings. We do get a simpler but very reliable Sega NH35 movement here instead of the PT5000 or Swiss Solita, and we do get a somewhat simpler clasp, although still with exactly the same functionality. All that for $158, a savings of about 300 bucks. Do check my detailed review if you are considering this one. Another San Martin that is again on my list is this original design GMT watch. I'm actually wearing it now while I'm recording this review. The reason it is on my list again because first it is really good, and second because 1111 price is pretty good too. This Seiko GMT NH34 caliber based watch ticks pretty much all the boxes. Also, I see that San Martin now offers it on the strap. Well, my recommendation go for the bracelet version, because the bracelet quality is top-notch, and you also get the latest San Martin clasp with on-the-fly adjustment, which is really good. San Martin 62 Mars 39mm version. Now, this is a new release from San Martin, or rather a variation on an existing very popular San Martin watch, but with a more trendy size of 39mm. Looks like there is only $9 difference between the bracelet and the strap version, and my money is definitely on the bracelet, and potentially get the strap later. With 20mm locks, there should be plenty of strap options. And with San Martin's strong reputation for build quality and finishing, this looks like a great option. All the usual things, of course, sapphire crystal, stainless steel construction and ceramic bezel, C3 Super Luminova Loom and anti-reflective coating. Links to this product listings, of course, will be in the description, and in the meantime, I will try to get one for review. 
Now, this is another crazy discounted San Martin GMT watch priced for 11.11 sale at $153. This is about $100 less than introductory price. This is a GMT watch powered by Seiko GMT NH34 caliber at a very wearable 39mm diameter size with all the gray specs and build quality. It is a great opportunity to grab one. And now for a timepiece that I'm including in my list for a second time, because this time it is actually discounted below $90. A bit of an unusual pricing, taking into account that normally San Martin clasp alone cost about half of the demand. Again, all the right proportions, 39mm case diameter with all the premium materials like sapphire crystal and 316L stainless steel. Now, if you want to see more AliExpress recommendation videos, well then check this one or even this one over here. And as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.